You just never know. I graduated from Kent State uh, in 2002. Yeah, good run. I've had a bunch of awesome jobs since then. I worked at Arby's for a while. Uh, I did, that was the post Kent State. Congratulations, that's what you have to look forward to if there are any students here, congrats. I don't know if you're familiar with Arby's, it's an amazing roast beef bistro. <laughs> Periodic home of the barbecue sandwich. It comes and goes, you know, it's like Haley's Comet. Just presents itself every so many years. It's like Haley's Comet if Haley's Comet gave you crippling diarrhea. I worked at Arby's, I was a cashier at Arby's. I was right up front dealing with people, talking to them, you know. I loved it. I did. I liked engaging with the common man. Here's the worst part, though, about working at Arby's. Whenever I had to deal with somebody at Arby's, uh, the worst thing was whenever somebody would come in and complain to me about shit at Arby's that I, as a cashier at Arby's, clearly had no control over whatsoever. I'll give you an example. Has anyone worked fast food? Okay, good, good. You'll know what I'm talking about. The rest of you can go to hell. Middle-aged lady comes into my Arby's one time. She says, excuse me! Why did you get rid of the homestyle fries? And I was like, what? She said, you used to have homestyle fries and curly fries. I like the homestyle fries. Why did you get rid of them? And I said, well, lady, first of all, let me just start by saying, you did the right thing coming to me. Clearly, I'm a pretty big wheel in the Arby's organization. I gotta ask you though, what gave it away that I'm the one calling all the shots around here? Was it when you saw me just moments ago mopping up a child's vomit in the dining room because a fat kid ate his jalapeno poppers too fast? Is that when you're like, there's the man in charge, he's got some sway. I'll take my grievance to him. Well, regardless, lady, let me tell you why I personally decided to get rid of all the homestyle fries at all the Arby's around the globe. I was at an Arby's corporate retreat in Miami Beach, Florida. All the big wigs and the muckety mucks like myself were there networking, pressing the flesh, team building, you know, that kind of thing. He's playing golf with the president of Arby's, Tom Arby's. So, yeah. So Tom Arby says to me, you know him? He's salt of the earth. He's a great guy. Tom Arby says to me, he says, hey, Mike, you're an idea, man. You got any hot new ideas that'll take, help us take Arby's to the next level? I said, I'll tell you one thing, Tom Arby's. I'd get rid of those goddamn homestyle fries if I were you. Long story short, lady. By the time I get back on the Arby's corporate jet and it lands to drop me off outside my rental home in Cleveland, Ohio, homestyle fries are abolished around the globe. So yes, ma'am, it's my fault you can't have any homestyle fries. It's a tough call, but heavy is the head that wears the crown. Am I right, lady? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've just been informed that somebody left an upper decker in the men's room. Part of my job is I gotta go fish that turd out of the tank. I bid you good day, and then I just walked away genuflecting like this. And I quit, I never went back, and that's how I quit Arby's. That's how I quit, thank you. Wish that weren't true. Wish that weren't true.